Okay, so here we have the GoPro, which is with the regular lens. And this lens has been scratched, so I have to replace it. But I've decided that since I'm going to replace it, I might as well replace it with this lens. And this is the Sunex lens. And this lens actually gets rid of the fisheye effect. I'm going to show you how to install it. So this will be kind of neat. So what you've got to do, of course, is you have to replace, you have to actually take out the battery to get at the screws, but also you simply don't want any power going on in there. So there's the battery out and there's the back. So now if we look at this we're going to see that there is a screw here, a screw here, Oops. there's a screw here, there's a screw here, there's a screw here, and there's a screw here. So I'm going to turn off the camera now, but while I take off, while I take out these screws, but that is how you open it. Remember, once I do this, and if you choose to do the same thing, you and I will be voiding the warranty. So the next thing to do is you need to remove this screw and then there's another screw right there and then there's a third screw there's only three screws and the third screw is way down in this little hole down there right down in there so those three screws have to be removed I'm going to turn off while I remove these screws as well. Okay. And here's what the GoPro looks like inside. Nothing too spectacular, but that's it. And there's the offending lens. Lens with scratch on it, sitting right on top. Now this may be tricky to take off, and uh, I might have to use a bit of Loctite on it. I'm not sure. So, it might be Loctited on, and, and if it is Loctited on, then I'm going to have to take a bit of... Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna have to heat it up a little bit. Uh, you use a heat gun or a hair dryer or something of that sort but it should work okay. Okay, so here is the old GoPro lens. The one I took out, the one with the scratch on it. Pretty nice and all, but too bad it's scratched. And there's the new one that's about to go into the case. Now, the trick is you can't put this new one in until you reassemble everything because the mouth of this lens is too big to fit inside there. So you have to reassemble it with no lens and then you screw this lens in place. Just out of curiosity's sake, if you're at all curious, that is what it looks like inside. And in the bottom of there is your CCD sensor. Keep dust, debris, everything and anything out of there. Okay, and then now it's time to reassemble. Okay, and here's the camera. Back together again with the new lens in place. Now, new lens that takes care of the fisheye is longer than the standard lens. So this will no longer fit in the case unless I modify it. So if you plan to do this, you will have to modify your case. However, there looks like there are some aftermarket things coming out that can accommodate that. And if you don't like it, you can still go back to the old lens by following the same hack procedures. Now, the other thing that you need to do uh, 
is uh, when you're screwing it back in place, when you're screwing the lens into the camera, uh, you're going to want to hook it up to a TV or something of that sort. Something for some real-time feed. Because as most of you know, the GoPro does not have an LCD screen on the back. So you're going to have to use a monitor or something of that sort. And of course you plug it into your TV hole right there. Okay. So by plugging it in there, you can then see the image and you can turn uh, your lens uh, either going in or out until you can get a clear picture. But this is a good way to get a very, very clear, crisp picture. Once again, keep all dust and debris away from the CCD inside the camera. That's a really bad thing. The other thing you, you will want to do as well uh, and the last and final thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to mark both the outside of the lens housing. Like you're, you're going to want to mark um, a, a spot on the camera body and a spot on a lens. So that way if you ever need to take this out or you ever need to remove it, you'll know exactly where your perfect focal length is. Alright, so that's that. Thanks for watching.